Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 27, verses 7 to 8, from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. Hear me as I pray, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Family, isn't that just such a wonderful portion of scripture and such a beautiful way to start praying as David is saying there, hear me as I pray, O Lord, be merciful and answer me. Family, we know that when we pray, the Lord hears our prayers. He hears it. He does not turn a deaf ear to us. He hears our prayers, family. And as I've said before in this series, I believe that when the Lord hears our prayers, he answers it one of three ways. That is, yes, certainly. And he does it and goes about it and makes sure that it's done right there. And then the second way is that he says, maybe not right now. And the reason that he could be saying that is maybe because your character still needs to grow and develop for you to be able to receive what that is, what it is that you're praying for so that you will be a faithful steward of it. Because if he gives it to you before your character is in the right place, that blessing will become a curse because you won't be able to be a faithful steward of it. And the third reason or the third way that he answers our prayers is saying, I've got something better for you. In other words, we might want this, but the Lord says, no, I've got this for you and it's far better. It's far greater, better than what we Think, ask, or imagine. I don't believe that the Lord says no when we answer our prayer. When He answers our prayers, I believe it's one of those three: yes, not right now, or I've got something better for you, family. So, whenever we go before the Lord, whenever we pray, we must go in with that confidence of knowing that the Lord has heard our prayers and He has answered our prayers, and that's why it's a beautiful way to start our prayer, as David has done here by saying, "Hear me as I pray, Lord, be merciful and answer me." But, at, but instead of just asking it like, Lord, please, you know, be merciful and answer me. Rather, we are saying that and stating that as a fact that the Lord is hearing our prayer. He's hearing us. He's merciful and he answers us because he is merciful family. He hears us. He loves us. And he loves answering our prayers family. And I just love what the second portion of the scripture says there, where it says in verse eight, my heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. Isn't that just so beautiful, family, that our that David's heart, that his spirit heard the Lord say to him, come and talk with me. And family, if we get quiet before the Lord, or if we just let our hearts be in tune with his leading and guiding, we will often hear him say, come and talk with me. Just go and close that bedroom door, go sit on your bed or go sit wherever, on the chair, on the couch, whatever it may be, wherever it may be, family, wherever your prayer closet is, your quiet space is. As we, as the Lord leads us and calls us to come and talk to them, we must be obedient. We must go and close that door. We must turn our cell phones off or leave our cell phone in another room somewhere where we're not going to be able to get it or be reached by it, family. The world goes on, whether you have your cell phone or not, believe it or not, the world goes on, family. The world can wait for 10, 15, 20 minutes, even an hour if that's how long the Lord wants you to speak to family, because I can guarantee you that conversation that you're having with the Lord that he's calling you to have is far more important than any phone call you could get in that time, family. And if you do get an important phone call in that time, you can call them back or they can leave a message. That's the beautiful thing with modern technology, family, is we know who's called us and we can get hold of them again if we miss that call, family. But the call of God is something that we cannot afford to miss on our lives. And the when God calls us to come and talk with him and spend time with him, family, it's not a call that we can afford to miss either. We must go and spend that time, family. And it goes on to say, and my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. When the Lord calls David and said, come and talk with me, David responded right away by saying, Lord, I am coming. And we must have that same attitude as well, family. When the Lord calls us to get quiet and spend time before him and talk to him, family. And don't think that this is something that's just going to happen you know, once in a blue moon. This is something that the Lord wants us to do every day, family, to come before him and talk to him. There's this beautiful metaphorical figurative movie about God called The Shack. And in the movie, the the person who's playing God, it basically says to the main character, you know, I know how your day has been, but sometimes I just like to hear it from you. And I like to hear it in your own words, family. God loves us like a good and loving father, and he wants to hear how our day was. He wants to hear what's going on in our lives, even though he already knows it, family. He just wants us to get in that quiet space to be able to talk to him instead of coming to him quickly in the morning or whenever we go to him and giving us giving him the shopping list of what we want him to do and then leaving, and that's the end of it, family. No, the Lord wants us to come 
and talk to him. Like it's saying in the scripture here, where we talk to him and we tell him our thoughts, tell him our feelings, tell him, tell him our struggles, tell him how our day went to just offload, to cast our cares upon him, family. It's in this time of talking to him that we can cast our cares upon him because he cares for us and he wants to take those cares and that weight off of our shoulder, family, so that we can go forward free of those things. But we can't do it if we don't have this quiet time talking to the Lord, family. So I want to encourage you going forward to do exactly what David did here. Go and talk to the Lord. When the Lord calls you to go and talk to him, to go and sit and be quiet before him, to not delay it or put it off, but to say, yes, Lord, I'm coming. As David said, with boldness, with enthusiasm, putting everything aside and going and spending that time with the Lord to talk to him, family. And I believe that as we do this, family, we're going to grow exponentially in our relationship with God. As David saw in his life, David was said in the Bible to be a man after God's own heart. And I believe that each and every one of us want to be known as a man or woman after God's own heart. And if we want to do that, family, when he calls us to talk to him, we need to respond and say, yes, Lord, here I am. I am coming. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. Before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you that as we come before you to pray, Lord, we know that you hear our prayers, Lord, and you are merciful and you answer our prayers, Lord, and we give you alone all the glory for that, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so much that you want to hear our prayers and you want to answer our prayers, Lord. I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that we will be alert and attentive to when you want us to come and get quiet and talk to you, Lord, that we will respond immediately, Lord, and say, yes, Lord, here we are. We are coming, Lord. And we will go with excitement into that conversation with you, Lord, to cast our cares upon you, to tell you how our day was, and to just spend that intimate quality time with you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we do this, Lord, as we draw nearer to you, you draw nearer to us, Lord, and you take us to new levels of glory in our relationship with you, Lord, so that we can be the people that you've called us to be, to do the things that you've created us to do, Lord. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in us and through us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.